Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Ain't We Got Fun. I hope you're all doing well. Today I wanted to make a brief first impressions video of this L'Oreal Paris Glow Paradise Hydrating Balm in Lipstick with Pomegranate Extract in the shade Ecstatic Mulberry. The reason I call this a first impression is because I've only used it for two days and I wanted to just check on my initial thoughts on it. I may grow to like it more over time. It just depends how I feel. I picked this up on Amazon.com for $5.89. Um, looking online, Target has it for $7.99 and another drugstore for $9.99. So if you're interested, try to find a deal. And I picked this up based on the description on Amazon. And I typically don't do that. I normally would like to see how it performs on other people, usually on YouTube videos, but it says it instantly hydrate and nurture lips for a pout that feels softer and suppler with this cushiony balm that effortlessly glides across lips and melts on contact for lips so healthy looking they glow. Natural formula made with 92% natural origin ingredients, including pomegranate extract, dermatologist, and Allergy tested and suitable for sensitive lips. Available in 10 buildable luminous shades. So it's made in the USA. And I don't always get sheer lip products because I have some pigmentation on my lips. Usually they build up unevenly. And I prefer to just get regular satin or matte lipsticks and mix them with a lip balm and shear them out myself versus getting something that's already sheer. But I went ahead and tried this out and I think for the price on sale, it is worth getting, but I probably would choose one of the lighter shades. And I will show you a swatch on my arm. So I am next to a window. It looks like a deep berry red. It matches my skin tone pretty well and I feel like I have sort of a olive -y, yellow medium skin tone and it can work as sort of a neutral red on me. It's not too bright, which I really like. And I'd say it lasts maybe three to four hours, but I do tend to blot my lips with a tissue after I apply lipstick and that does help significantly. This did not bleed outside of the lip lines and it wore away pretty evenly. Now, one thing that happens with this and other lipsticks that are sort of darker is they can gather in the lines of my lips. And that did kind of happen with this, but for the price, I am pretty happy with this uh, lipstick. I'd say it's a lipstick combined with a lip balm. Uh, maybe a hint of shine, not super glossy if that's what you're looking for. But I know L'Oreal has some other lipsticks that will have that effect that I didn't like as much. Now, as for the smell, it's sort of a berry-ish, but sometimes almost a flower type of smell. So if smells bother you, you might want to avoid this. Um, definitely not the, the L'Oreal regular lipstick smell. That's kind of a vanilla-y and I hate to use this, but some people describe it as a grandma smell. And for the taste, it's almost like you got a hint of lotion in your mouth. Now, it doesn't bother me too much, but for someone who is sensitive to taste, you might want to stay away if certain tastes bother you pretty easily. But like I said, for me, it was not too bothersome. That kind of thing doesn't normally bother me. It usually has to be pretty bad for me to return it. So that's how that looks on my arm. I will give a few lip swatches. And like I said, I applied it and then blotted it with the tissue. But the first picture is, is before I blot it. And I will show this compared to the Clinique sort of balm lipstick that's super popular. So. The bottom swatch is Clinique Black Honey, a very popular tinted balm type of product. It is one of those your lips but better types of colors, but on me it applies very unevenly. It clings onto any dryness that might be on my lips. And it smelled kind of like an old book. It had a bit of an off taste to it. And I prefer the L'Oreal one, but the L'Oreal one I feel does lean more towards being a lipstick than a lip balm. And I'm sure that if you pick a lighter shade, you won't have 
much unevenness or have it gather in the lines of your lips as much as I did. I feel like if I had picked a shade that was a bit lighter, that wouldn't have happened, but I do prefer these berry or red types of shades. And it didn't really bother me too much. Um, when you rub your lips together, it kind of goes away. And it's not out of the ordinary for certain lip products to kind of gather in certain places. But for the price, I'd say it is definitely worth it. And I will put some lip swatches. And like I said, the uh, first pictures are before I blotted it. And the second pictures are after. This is what it looks like up close here. To me, it does look very different from my swatches. On someone else in one of the reviews, they felt it was sort of a blood red almost type of color. And as you saw on me, it's more of a berry red. But maybe if I applied more layers, I could get it to go darker. But this is a nice sort of everyday color to me. So I hope that was interesting or helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care, bye.